Welcome. We are in the time of miracles. Lionsgate portal open and active. Now this has to do with our set of pentacles, our wealth. And what is wealth? We know our wealth is our health and some. This is our birthright. This is our divine inheritance. Now, this has to do with our life's purpose. We are in a time of really finding out what our life's purpose is. And we know that we've been prepping. You know, our life's purpose is connected to everything we've done thus far. And this, we've been training for this with life. We've been working for this with life. Now, this has a lot to do with like, you know, we're gonna use a label for a minute. We're gonna use the masculine, being a star seed twin flame. And being a star seed twin flame, what are we what are we feeling called to do? Be there for life. This is about expanding and being there for life, healing with life. That's what we're feeling called to do. Now, I know that here we, we pick up trash. We pick up trash and are an advocate for picking up trash as well as being a safe haven for the animals here. Uh, I live in a, in a big city up here in Canada and we have a, a yard and everything's geared towards, you know, having a, a fountain for the birds and, and bird food and the and you know throwing out carrots for the rabbits and stuff like that and, and we've even had a deer here you know all the animals are welcome and i really feel like this is important you know understanding that we need to pick up our trash and how to dispose of our trash is extremely important here this is how we're going to revive mother earth now as well as we know gopher spirit last time we met up we were talking about gopher spirit in the three of pentacles it's somewhere here and if you haven't checked out those three part three part readings for uh the aquarius full moon they're linked down below and it's in part two it's somewhere in here i got i have the card somewhere guys it's somewhere i'm right here now, we're talking about, right now, we're using Gopher Spirit. Since Lionsgate Portal has been active, I've been channeling, channeling Gopher, Gopher Spirit. We're working with Gopher Totem. And we shared this message in part two of this full moon in Aquarius supermoon reading. And go, the card messages were working in the Three of Pentacles in a cathedral building that building the the window and how we're coming together with all of our unique skills in order to do so well we're ready to step into the next level of our purpose and so am i i have been ready to step into the next level of my purpose and really in meditation and prayer working with god to say like put me in play to be there for the animals at another level at a deeper level and yesterday i was out and about for a walk and i was walking where me and my divine counterpart first had our first like we where we first had our first like meeting our first day of meeting and coming together and I go and sit there quite often and meditate and I was feeling called to yesterday and as I'm walking there I'm about to go and sit by the trees in the stairwell where him and I first sat and talked there was a little girl and a little boy calling me over to their house come here come here we need you come here come here and their mom was on the phone and she's like can you come here can you come here and as I'm, I'm on my way down, of course, like I'm making notes for, you know, chatting here with everybody today. And I turn over and stop and I just finish the notes because I didn't want to forget. I'm going to have to look at what that is and share it next time we meet up. And 
So I turned over and I go to their backyard and I'm like, what can I help you with? They're like, there's an animal, there's an animal stuck in our backyard. Can you help? And I was like, I was lit, of course, because I was like, yeah, you know, God's listening. I'm ready. Put me in play. Let's go. I'm going to come and help. So I get in the backyard and I, they have like um, an eaves trough and the piece of their eaves trough is like made out of rubber, rubber and they've removed it. And they're telling me there's an animal stuck in there. So I gently like go tip it up to see. And they're telling me it's a chipmunk. Well, right away, I'm like, this is a this is a gopher. This is a gopher. This is a prairie dog. This is, you know, one of these. We have a lot of these where I live. Okay. And so I I go to kind of get it out and and the little guy's not coming out. And I thought, well, maybe, is it a squirrel? And I'm like, no, this is literally really a gopher. It's a prairie dog. So I said to them, well, it's scared. Do you need this piece to your eaves trough right now? How about we put it outside the back of your yard and we'll let it come out by itself. Just you go inside and I'll go away and we'll let it come out. And they're like, okay, okay. And we put it in a place of shade because it was very hot yesterday, 31 degrees Celsius. And they went their way, I went my way. And as I was leaving and, wa and walking away, well, their dad came home and their dad comes home running through that backyard. Where is it? Where is it? And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, don't hurt the little thing. And and he comes and he starts shaking it and he's shaking it out. And I'm like praying like, God, please, God, please help that little thing. Help that little thing. And there comes the, the gopher and it comes right out and runs away. And <sighs> so instantaneously, like not getting into anger, God was there, not getting into anger. And, you know, before I would have been like, what the heck was the point of that? And been so angry, but there was no anger there. There was the rec, like recognizing the fact that the seeds were planted for the little girl and the little boy and the mother. We're star seed, twin flames. The seeds were planted. And, and that little girl and that little boy and that mom got to see a different way of doing things. And now they have a choice. They have a choice to go on in their future. And I had to let it go. I can, I can hold on to that. I have to do my part here with God. We have to do our part here with God. And this is about us. We're stepping into inspired action through our purpose and what that is. And the most beautiful part in part two, when we were sharing the message of this in part two on the reading for the supermoon in Aquarius, I had just was just talking about how my dog passed away and talking about this card that we received that we're going to be sharing next time we meet up the message of this and how this is a stargate opening up. This is a stargate opening up. And one dog has a key, doesn't have a key anymore, and it's with cup within this plant. And this other dog has the key. And I know this is symbolism for my dog passing away and my other dog, Biscuit, still being here. And that my dog, Max, passing away at the time he did is part of what's activating here with Lionsgate. As we know, we're connected to the ones that we love in the 5D. So it's all connected. It's all one. And the message that I was working on at the time here to share with everybody. So let's share this message, okay? Now, this has to do with the fact that we are exiting Twin Flame Hell, okay? So... The time that we are in is literally exiting twin hell. That's what Lionsgate is helping us with. Exiting twin hell from the lower world to the upper world. Something balances out in the middle world with the two of pentacles and two of cups. And this is an ele elevation of worth or belief. Now, guys, I'm feeling called to break this up again. 
So we're gonna head on over to part two. We're gonna share scribed information and we'll see you there. Love you, take care.